course, Brad left his family over there, but um, you know, we all have made sacrifices to be a part of this team. Um, you know, whether we're leaving our families or our families somewhere else, or you know, people being traded coming here. You know, we just we've all made sacrifices, and that's what's brought us together. Um, you know, now we're playing for a, for a championship. So, you know, at the end of the day, it all it all even out, and it'll all be worth it. So, has he changed kind of during the course of the year? I mean. It- you know, first year, a lot thrown at him. Have you seen, not that it's, not that it's your job to evaluate him, but the growth in him as a coach? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's a great coach coming over anyway, so yeah. <laughs> it was the belief that we all had in him. But, you know, obviously coming into a new team and then, you know, new players and, you know, changing what's best fit for our team and, and the players that we have and the coaches and going in. And we have an unbelievable staff, you know, medically and, and our coaching staff and then the players, we, we kind of take it from there. So it goes hand in hand. There's, there, there are championship guys on this team, so you know the respect is always there. And Coach Blatt has, uh, you know, just stayed even kill, which I appreciate for him. Is just that, you know, when he first came in, he was just an amazing player coach already. And then, you know, being able to listen and be receptive to what the players are saying, and then, you know, going out and making changes. And if he feels like it's what's best for the team, he's a coach and he's going to make a decision. We all respect that. So and there hasn't been anyone stepping on anybody's toes. Obviously, there's been. You know, some disagreements here and there, but I mean, what team doesn't have disagreements? So um, for us, it's just about growing daily and us getting better as a, as a group. Ron, you've been, your game's been scrutinized since you were in high school. Um, because of that experience, does that give you some empathy for what Coach Glatt experienced this year? Uh, well, anytime someone is scrutinized for, really for nothing, you know, that's what everybody, you know, and um, you know, for him and his instance, obviously. We know that a lot of people are going to say things that you know, didn't mean much, but that's just what they have to do. That's what helps sales. You know, that's the you know, people love reading negative things more than positive things. So, you know, I think he's handled the situation um, unbelievably. Uh, you know, being a rookie coach in the NBA, being able to take his team to the finals, I think he's done a hell of a job. Does he maybe deserve more credit than he's gotten? Um, I don't think he cares about that. It shouldn't matter. Getting credit from other people who cares. It's all about how we how we uh, credit each other. You know, that's inside these floor, all these floors every day in this private facility. Game, film session, things of that nature. So shouldn't matter what everybody else says.